Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create uh, grids uh, in Adobe XD. So it's very simple, the first thing you have to do is to select an artboard and uh, on the right panel you're going to see this uh, grid and um, you simply click on the checkbox and uh, as you can see now you're going to have the grid in that specific artboard. Um, the first options that you're going to see are the colors. So you can simply click here in order to change the color of the grid. And um, you can also change the number of uh, the columns. So if we add some more, you can see how it changes. And uh, we can have uh, um, the number that uh, you want basically. So the next option is going to be the gather width. And uh, this is going to determine the distance between uh, one column and the other. And uh, you can also change the column width, which uh, is going to determine the width, of course. Now, you're also going to have uh, these uh, two options, which uh, are basically uh, showing you the uh, top uh, padding and uh, also the other directions one. So it's going to be uh, top, then uh, right, then bottom, and uh, then uh, left. So you can uh, tweak these uh, values directly from here. And uh, you can also choose if you want to use uh, this uh, uh, grid uh, as a, de a default. So if you want to make it a default, you simply click over here. And uh, if you want to use uh, a default grid, uh, which uh, you already had previously, you can simply click on, on here. And um, this is pretty much uh, for the grid. There's also an option to have uh, the squares. And um, as you can see, you have to tweak uh, the size a little bit and uh, you're going to see and uh, find whatever size fits better for you. And um, I would highly suggest you to use grids, uh, especially when working on uh, web projects, because uh, it really helps you to keep yourself uh, organized uh, in uh, the artboard. And uh, it's definitely something that uh, um, should be required uh, uh, by your, uh, or could be required by your developer, depending on uh, uh, the, the style of work that uh, um, they like to do in the front end. So if, for example, you're using Bootstrap for a landing page, um, you, you should consider having the grid uh, so that when the developer uh, will receive the file, he can uh, easily integrate it. So this is it for this lesson and uh, I'll see you in the next 